The alarm. The alarm is always ringing. I don't hate the alarm, but I hate what it means. Every morning that I have to escape the comfort of my bed is another day in which I must hang my head in defeat. The alarm always wins! I stumble towards the bathroom and try to wash the lack of sleep from my eyes. You always look terrible when you first wake up, regardless of how you actually feel. The cold water stings at my face as the rest of my senses struggle to wake up with me. My reflection stares back at me, and even he seems to think I shouldn't go. As I pull my clothes over my sore feet and the sagging shoulders, my stomach begins to rumble. I glare at my alarm clock as the red numbers shine back at me, unchanging and unapologetic. As I walk up the stairs, expecting the smell of breakfast, I am disappointed to see a dull kitchen and the silence breaks my heart. I quickly read the note on the refrigerator. Sorry, sweetie. Work called. I'll see you tonight. Have a great day. This fantastic day just keeps on getting even better. <laughs> As I scour the dark kitchen for something to please my roaring stomach, anything, I leave with a granola bar. Mm -mm -mm, granola! Hardly what I was expecting this fine morning. As my thoughts drift from the blandness of the granola bar, they are drawn to the day ahead. Why I put myself through the usual events of the day is beyond me right now, as the lure of my bed is pulling me back to it. The sun has started to peek through my curtains, casting its warmth into my basement room. I sit on the edge of the bed, where my body has left an imprint, like a paw print of some exact animal in the jungle, and I pull my socks on one foot at a time. Then it catches my eye once again. The alarm clock, sitting there, mocking me. While I have to go into the world, it sits here, confident of its future, knowing full well what tomorrow holds. Its snake-like cord dangles down the side of its shelf, down to the plug in which its source of power lies, feeding and feeding and charging the monster of the night. Its unchanging red eyes glare at me throughout the night, knowing it will have its chance to strike and wake me. As the final knot is tied in my shoes, I smile. It won't do it to me tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, and I'm not going to let it win. Walk over to the vile box and pull the plug out of the socket. And cradling the monster, I walk up the stairs. A bounce in my step. Walking with purpose, <laughs> as I walk out of the house into the open air of this fine spring morning, I inhale deeply. <laughs> Set the alarm clock on the ground, and I walk away. I open the door to my car and sit down behind the steering wheel, strapping my seatbelt setting my backpack in the empty seat next to me. I start the car, the engine roaring to life, 
momentarily disrupting the sound of this spring morning. I put the car into reverse and slowly lift my foot off the brake. As the car moves backwards, I smile and push on the gas some, increasing my speed. Knowing the alarm clock has only a few seconds of existence left, I feel it! <laughs> the satisfying crunch of the tires of my car as the clock is finally shut off for good! Are you sure though? I put the car into drive, pull back over my mess, and then reverse again, repeating my joyful act. As I park and get out, I look at the pile of parts and smile. <laughs> no longer will I be woken up by this machine. Well, at least not until I get a new one. Because as much as I don't know what the future holds, I do know that I can't miss this math class anymore. I'm not going to pass. I'll have to take it over again next semester. Damn, I hate math. I'm a dance major. Anyway, well, I mean, a dance major, why on earth would you need algebra and crap to pull off a level 3 pirouette and a break dance? What's in my mouth? Damn, I forgot to brush my teeth. I love waking up and going to school. 